let's take a quick look at some of the tools within Safari that can support you in organizing yourself, but also uh, some of the accessibility features that are built into Safari that can help when presenting your screen to others, but also just minimizing distractions for yourself as well. So I'm going to jump into Safari. And I've just loaded up uh, a sports web page, uh, just information about, you know, uh, England football team um, but you'll notice straight away that there are these other stories over on the side that are there obviously because I might be interested in these things but for some learners or for some situations where you're sharing a screen they could act as a little bit of a distraction away from the key points that you're trying to look at over in the story itself as well as all of the other kind of links that might take you elsewhere. So what you can do on your screen the two A's uh, that sit here uh, to the left hand side of the search bar. If you tap on that, that's going to give you access to some of the accessibility features built into Safari. Um, and the first thing I can look at here is show read of you. When I go ahead and tap on that, you'll notice straight away that all of that additional content has been stripped out and I'm just left with the content that I want to look at. So the images that are relevant to the story um, and the, the text itself. Obviously any links that are relevant to this story as well still work so you can still utilize that. So it just really helps to just focus the attention and minimize those distractions. A couple of the other things that you can change in here, I can now change this font size of this page. So if I need to make it bigger, just to make it easier for me to read. But again, if I'm mirroring my screen to the front of a classroom, for example, having it so that there's easier for people to see that might be at the back of the classroom is a, is a really, really quick win. I can also change the font again for similar reasons. It just might be easier for you to read it in certain fonts, or you might be playing around with the, the different fonts and having a look at, you know, does this change how you can read and how you can interact in this? You can also change the background color. Again, might make for easier reading depending on the room that you're in. If, if it's uh, white on black, it it's, can help with people with some uh, you know difficulties in, in reading, uh, such as dyslexia. Sometimes it's easier to read with the white on the black. But also just if there's a lot of glare on the screen, having the black background might make it easier for people to pick out the words. But you can change it through different uh, you know different types of color background. And then finally, you can choose this to automatically happen on the website. So if I go to the website settings, um, I can ask to have the desktop version. So rather than having a mobile version, if the website comes as a mobile version, I can have the desktop version. And I can turn on this reader automatically. So it will automatically, no matter what site I'm on uh, within this uh, bbc.co.uk will will automatically do this and you can set that for everything and you can also allow access to different things as well so you can start to have a little bit more control over the security of the websites that you might go on so whether you want it to have camera microphone um, or location access so that's it in terms of the accessibility just to go over a couple of the other features one new thing that came out uh, a while back, but is a really, really useful feature, is this is your download section. So if there is a website you're on and you're downloading a piece of information, before it was kind of difficult to know where that information went. Now you'll notice that this icon appears, and when you tap on it, you'll see that you have this downloads bar where you can see uh, the things that you've downloaded from anything on the internet. And when you click into it, it then gives you the option to save that to different places as well. Here's our friendly share icon, giving you the option to share the websites to you know, people via Bluetooth, via text message, or linking this out to any other sharing platforms that you might use. Uh, to start a new website, you can click on this one here. And then if I want to see all of the pages that I might have open, I can click on this and it will kind of give me that overall view of different uh, web pages that I've had access to. On this side then are my bookmarks, my reading list, etc. So if I tap on this, it will open up this one here, which is things that I've bookmarked, this one here, which are things that I've uh, looked at for my reading list, and then finally my history, um, which will show you the, the history of things that you've searched for. Um, and within that, you can search through your history to see, you know, I, I know I was looking at something yesterday, I can't remember what page it was, but you can have a look through those things. So a really, really useful way to just use Safari, thinking about it deeper in terms of the accessibility options that you might utilize, but really, really useful ways to just support those things in or out of your classroom. So once again, thanks for watching and please leave some comments in the chat below if you've got any questions.